Hi guys, um, attempt number two. First attempt to realise I've got uh, my business card stuck to my monitor and you could clearly read uh, my mobile number, which would not be a good thing. Right, anyway, just doing a dry fit, which I would show you here. Um, last time you saw me spray paint the, uh, the hot plate and the cold plate, or rather the hot plate there, and the cold plate on top. Um, so I've just done a dry fit. As you can see, the uh, container that I'm using for the outside walls, the CD container, um, that's on there nice and snug. Uh, using um, M4 threaded uh, bar to hold the uh, hot plate and the cold plate together. And you can quite clearly see uh, nylon washers uh, just to reduce the amount of heat that flows up the bar. Uh, just stirring up. Uh, for illustration purposes, I've strung some wire uh, across the M4 threaded bar just so I can show you this. It is. That will be the main shaft with the uh, timing on it. Uh, what can I say? It took me probably 10 minutes to measure everything and um, sort of bend it into place and then God knows how many hours to uh, make the bar as straight as possible. Um, the bar is made from uh, I think it's 2mm thick um, copper wire basically. Um, I rubbed it out of um, some um, mains cable you know, the stuff that um, goes into buildings behind the walls and whatnot. Um, it's solid core, so um, there shouldn't be too much torque behind it, so I don't imagine that it'll twist or bend. Um, but then again, we'll soon see. Um, so, briefly, the power piston, it's there again. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about that uh, this time. Um, that's like it's an experiment basically and I'm not sure it's going to work um, so basically I'll have to see about that one um, oh one question that I will get asked and I know you're going to ask me how do I know the length of each of the timing loops hmm? good question ok we'll start with the big one that one. Right, that's simple. You measure the height of your um, cylinder on metal ruler and it's 78 millimeters. So, <coughs> excuse me, 78 millimeters divided by two because the shaft, because the shaft, the can't speak. The shaft spins so it goes up and down. So you divide it by 2. Um, 78 divided by 2, 39 millimetres, uh, and then you take a couple of millimetres off for play, um, just so it's not constantly hitting the bottom or hitting the top, etc. Um, so I ended up at the figure of um, 37 mil. And that's how you do it. Now, the fun one is the smaller one for the power piston. How did I get that? Uh, truth be told, there probably is a formula for working it out, but I guessed it. Yep, you got it right. I guessed how much travel I'd get. Um, the guess was based on um, other people that have seen on YouTube and their Sterling engines. Um, I just, as I said, a guesstimate. Um, don't really know till I try it. Uh, and when I do, well, what can I say? If it doesn't work, I can change it. 
If I need more, I can add more. If I need less, add less. No, not add less. Take less. And so on and so forth. And that's about it. Except I will show you a separator. That will go inside the tube. Yes, I did say on the last video there was a reason for using a CD container. It's because this CD, like um, probably about 30 others that I've got, um, failed verification when I was writing data to it, so it's scrap. So it's lightweight material, write once, can't use it again, perfect. Copper wire that I'm using on this, I uh, decided to use very thin copper wire. Again, it's from um, household uh, cabling, uh, the earthing wire, this one. Uh, so it's nice 1mm thick uh, copper wire. It's not been straightened yet, that's to be done. I've just super glued it to the CD. Uh, yes, it's thin, yes, it's very bendy, but all it's doing is that. So, quite literally, it should be strong enough. If it ends up fouling on something, or getting stuck, or whatever, yeah, it'll bend. But, to be honest, that's probably going to be a good thing. I'd rather bend that wire and have to pull it apart. Um, than bend something else. Not that this thing will have that much uh, bend on it. Oh, that reminds me. In the background, say hi to Tux. And that's that. The wings, these things, on the hot and cold plate. Yeah, I'm in two minds whether to keep them on. Uh, I mean, the M4 threaded uh, bar are going to be cut down. So it'll be down to about there. Um, so I don't know. I think they're going to get cut down. It's just going to be a pain in the arse, but there we go. So I'll probably cut them down to one mil, and then use something like this. Pop rivet it on the side, and just make a sort of A-frame. Probably using the M4 threaded bolt. There, uh, threaded bolt. Try again. M4 threaded bar. That's where I'm up to. Um, need a bit of fettling with before I'm happy with it. Uh, one question, another question rather, that I know you're going to ask me. How am I going to seal around the, uh, uh, the CD container? Top and bottom. What am I going to use to seal it? I'll leave that to you. Uh, yes, I can use silicon, but it's not going to be very strong. Um, so what can I say? Answers on a postcard. Anyway, oops, screensaver's just kicked in. And now we can't see anything. Here we go. Oh yeah. Cordless mouse. Wee, love them. Right. Any questions? Give us a shout. Comments. You name it. Feel free. Talk to you later, guys.